Bonjour! This is Valpre for the Notorious CID. And Prim Prim, as you hear. I am going to talk today about being self conscious with DID. There are so many things that can create this, even if it's not natural in your behavior pattern. Like, I'm not normally a self conscious or things like these. But uh, if you're in a body and it's only you as like a singleton, then you don't have to think about as much as you do. Well, you got to think about a lot of things. I'm not putting saying that singletons don't have issues. But uh, I am saying that when you're a DID system, there is so much more that comes into play because when I, yay, Spring Prim, when I come uh, to the front, I have a vaccine, and some of them do know. So then uh, it makes me think of a lot of things, uh, especially in a regular everyday life. People that you meet, if you meet somebody that you may like as an individual author, and uh, you have to think about a lot of things before you were to say, oh, I'd like to have a date with that person or something like this. Because uh, you can no guarantee that you're going to be at the front. You can no really have a comfort in knowing that... Uh, somebody else isn't going to be there so in in my particular case i have uh, a vaccine and then uh to me laura has an vaccine but obviously to uh, an american uh, she no has so then i <coughs> say eva she were to be at the front, then it's uh, obvious that there is a difference. Now, standardly, we mentioned early on if uh, somebody interested in us that we have the ID. And this, uh, of course, runs into the problem with uh, nobody really being comfortable dating somebody who does or getting to know you or things like this so it's uh, making yourself conscious I was uh, think about to ask oh you know not to ask specifically ask somebody out but to talk to them uh, you know and uh, hope that maybe they would ask me out but uh, when I think about it, I realize this could be problematic because uh, because of the DID, it has to be brought up. You can't just know, do it and uh, go about your business, go on dates, do whatever you wish because our system, you can know specifically uh, be out as you want. So, uh, I have to think about so many different things, and that's kind of why I kind of feel like uh, I don't know that we're better off being alone, but I know that uh, it's almost impossible to not be. Regular parties uh, either do not understand or they really don't want anything to do with uh, someone that is in our situation with having dissociative identity disorder. So then uh, you think about things you wouldn't standardly think about. Uh, like uh, when I was a uh, singleton, uh, I did know that have to think, oh, well, somebody else may be at the front. And it's going to be obvious that that's not the same person. And uh, we have to 
make sure that they understand and we have a to let them know and we <clears throat> excuse me it's disheartening and it's difficult and it really is a self esteem blow I don't know if it's, it's this self esteem is this I say right or I say no um, is a difficult because uh, you have to think about all these things and uh, then uh, and dating is kind of no is uh, <clears throat> the parties that uh, we have uh, dated in the past uh, after knowing that we had the ID uh, were no they were no uh, really people that were going to be long term and is uh, is difficult Laura has uh, some new abilities that's been uh, somewhat suppressing others. So that's helping her, but not so much helping maybe me or the rest of us. Uh, it's helping this, the system in general as far as getting things done, but above that and over that, not so much. Our vehicle is down, so we've got that going on. We've got a lot of things going on that are just really time consuming and also money consuming so I'm trying to sort out and find a good way to make money uh, that's well we're trying to uh, so that uh, more than one of us would be able to do it and that can be difficult uh, not everybody knows how to do the same things not everybody has the ability to do the same things and uh, is very trying but that's for another video. That's not about this. Uh, sorry, I I veer off. I go here and there and everywhere. But uh, as I stated, it's very uh, disheartening um, because I can you know just uh, walk up to someone or have someone walk up to me and say, "Oh, do you want to go on a date? Would you like to do?" Without divulging the fact that we have the ID there's no hiding that and that's not that I want to hide that but if maybe somebody could get to know you before they knew the full facts then uh, maybe you'd have a little bit more of a leg to stand on but I kind of feel like uh, in the situation is uh, like the legs are just kicked out from under you immediately because I can do that because uh, especially lately uh, Laura's been out more and uh, she don't sound nothing like me and I don't uh, sound like her and uh, to be on fair playing ground you need to be honest anyway so just sharing some thoughts today I hope